going top down or bottom up is a choice only for big companies. For smaller companies, if I am a new startup out there to create a new product in the market, it's always advisable to go with bottom up approach. Microsoft follows top down approach and it works for them. Google follows bottom up approach where engineers try the product innovation and it works for them. But they are big companies, they are big elephants. The kind of equity they have built over the years and decades is huge. And whatever they touch is going to turn into gold. So let's not compare ourselves with the strategies of these big elephants. Because Apple may be following this price skimming strategy and it works for them, they are successful. And Microsoft might be following a uh, phase penetration price model and they are successful. But even if you talk about Apple, let's not forget that while Steve Jobs was involved with each and every decision making processes uh, in Apple, and you may call it a top-down approach, but still, Steve Jobs was trying to understand the pulse of the audience. He could tell you what you wanted before you could tell him what you wanted. So even in case of Apple, I think it was a kind of mix what they were following. So comparing smaller companies with these big elephants is not fair. Let's talk about newer startups. So there's a very famous book I read uh, by L. Rice and Jack Trott, Bottom Up Marketing, where they say that employees understands the needs of the customers much better than senior managers do. And it's right. It's true because, because when you are going bottom up, you are keeping the end users in mind. And they are going to assess you based on the real value of your product. While in case of top-down approach, you can easily fool the senior stakeholders with fancy PowerPoint presentations and PPTs and whatnot. So, so uh, I think for a newer company, for a new startup, in these times, because these are the times of flat hierarchies all over the world, and employees want to feel themselves more participative in the overall decision making ladder of the uh, of an organization so here in these these times bottom up approach is much better is there a downside yes if we have time constraint then definitely we should go top down because the only problem with bottom up is that it's slightly linear uh, in terms of the decision making process but what we can do is we can a lot certain segments to top down and we can go with other segments being bottom up we can have a mix of both so the biggest advantage in this bottom up approach is that there's always a scope for innovation if tomorrow if my company becomes big if, if it becomes 100 million ARR company tomorrow or even 10 million ARR company then in top down you don't have the liberty and flexibility to execute and experiment with any innovation. No, you are bound with a specific curve now. You cannot digress from now the, the, the set path. But in case of bottom up, you can always divide your company into many companies. You can have many CEOs and then you can go for selective, targeted, focused areas of innovation in your product. So in these times, maybe 20 years down the line, it could be something else. But in these times, I think for smaller companies, bottom up is always a better approach. And this is something which Freshworks has remarkably shown of late, how this bottom-up approach really rocks.